Hey guys, a little video update on the different tank. Enfin, we don't have so many tanks, hein? just two. Uh, for the discus, uh, nothing really new except that I already turned the water in holidays modus with a lot of tap water in order for the pH to be a bit higher. But the point today is this is here. Uh, I luckily can share and uh, hopefully it will be uh, last a bit longer that uh, we haven't lost any of these little guys so to as little reminder this is um, red rainbow trophies red rainbow from Tonic, uh, tanganica lake i will get it and this is some young uh, juveniles f1 so this is young from uh, whitefish and this is something quite interesting i would say because you know the red rainbow uh, in the adult form if you check my previous video a few years ago for example i had a, a group of uh, wild fish with a coloration very intense and uh, i would say quite an attractive video thanks guy for all the comments and so on that i started finally to read and answer on youtube Sorry, not so good at uh, managing it. So by the way, here you have the youngs. And as you may know already with Trophius, the juvenile uh, fishes are not necessarily having exactly the same or uh, in some cases, for example, Trophius du Boisy, the youngs are uh, with some little dots and uh, the adult fish turn in a different uh, coloration and nothing uh, at all uh, to do with dots, but instead this is a, a line in the middle of the fish. And here you can see often, I would say, with young trophies, you have a kind of uh, stripes pattern or vertical zebra, I don't know, stripes, yeah, indicating that uh, I'm still young, please don't fight with me, let me uh, growing uh, a little bit. So, by the way, we had 27 of these young fish at the beginning, and sadly, we lost six. Uh, when uh, it's starting to have this bloat disease and so on and thanks to uh, nice support and a lot of luck I would say I could get access to proper medicine to fix the bloat in a very um, clean uh, way if uh, demonstration would uh, be still needed uh, for you to know the bloat disease in fact it starts in a group and it kills all the fish huh? Especially here you have some young fishes, so quite sensitive and not so as uh, inertia metabolism as the adult one, I would say. So really lucky. But today, sorry, already three minutes, not talking about the topic. Uh, this is also related to your comments and the fact that we will go on holiday. So we need here some automatic filler. And the topic of today that I would like to share with you, this is the food. All the different food. Times to times I get people Sorry for the lights, I will maybe try to turn on this one, for example. Yes, you can see plenty of food. The guy is crazy with uh, his fish, but uh, no, there is a reason. And this is uh, a good thing that uh, at least in Europa, you have uh, no difficulty to get access to so many different uh, uh, sort of, uh, of food, kind of food, sorry. Uh, if you look a little bit intensively and if you give a try and especially if you observe the fish, the reaction and how they do appreciate it or not, at the end you will have a lot of different foods that you played with before to, to do your own selection. I'm putting the hand in here, the food. So by the way, you can see uh, mainly this is two sort of food or two origin of food. This is only token uh, dry food that uh, I show uh, and share with you. The frozen food is uh, in the fridge. I don't put it here on the table, melting <laughs> a bit everywhere. And uh, I will show you on the computer. In fact, I use uh, just one. Uh, I do like to use just one uh, frozen food. So it's not uh, the focus here. More importantly, in order to answer to your question, I will try to uh, show you what I use for the discus. Here, discus and El Catfish, of course, you're right, and here Trophius. <laughs> and Trophius, you have to do your choice. <laughs> you, you, you can't, it's not suitable to feed them too much, that I learned lately. So by the way, back to the discus. Let's start with the discus. The easiest one, this is this uh, flakes, that they, they do like it, uh, even, even the wild one. 
I mean, you can see they do know it's time to feed and we will feed them if I don't forget it. And this uh, flake, as you can see, all the food, all the dry food here is coming from tropical. And this one is coming from EBO or EBO, aquaristic. We will have a look on the internet. So here is some flakes. I will let you uh, check out uh, by yourself if you want more info about the composition. And typically this is to highlight uh, the coloration, the red coloration. And here I do use a mix for the panzer bells, uh, corridoras and so on. Here this is uh, to uh, boost a little bit immune system from tropical. This one is also as the flakes to uh, enhance uh, coloration, red one, and this one, this is uh, for the wild, specifically dedicated to the wild. So typically you are a bit more insect and for example uh, fruits as well, like in the wild when uh, you have uh, the forest uh, flooded, you have a lot of uh, all these uh, different source of food uh, dropping in the water and typically this is what this food try to mimic. So I used to put all of them here mixed in order just to in the same uh, more or less the same uh, percentage I would say 25% uh, each time and I mix this way and after that I let it in the automatic feeder uh, here I use uh, this AI duo blah 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 uh, just because it's uh, easier and nicer you may find on the internet if you need a bigger a way to uh, get some uh, 3D model to print yourself and you get a, a bigger reservoir here for the food. I do not need it. It does last up to three weeks with this setup and uh, it is uh, once a day. Enfin, this one for the El Catfish, this is once the night at two o'clock and this one for the discus. Uh, I give it in the morning, I guess this is uh, uh, 11 o'clock, something like that. So, discus, fine. Here, El Catfish. Adult El Catfish, baby El Catfish. Enfin, growing tank, I would say, because the baby, uh, I do have other food that I'm not showing here because it's not the food that currently I give. Here, this is for the adult, and this is from Ebo, order Ebo aquaristic insect and seafoods uh, yeah seafood seafood sorry <laughs> as usual i do a mix half half and after that i give it to the uh, automatic feeder here easier okay and here for the youngs we do have the same seafood and insect and i have uh, until now i'm still uh, putting also a third of uh, muscle muscle in the mixed and I'm feeding once a day, or let's say once a, a night. And this is the quantity that you can see here. This is not so much for all the youngs, but at least uh, the growing tank is uh, very clean, I would say. And uh, I have uh, still a lot of uh, juvenile growing very fast. The juvenile, the El Catfish that I do uh, breed here, this is L201, L333. And uh, both of them, it's more um, carnivore-oriented regime. So this is the reason why I'm feeding this and this. Huh? It's uh, rich in protein. And uh, <clears throat> of course, you do have here a quick way to pollute your tank. So it's uh, also something that you, you have to uh, find uh, a way to clean the water. And this is the reason also why I set up the filters that you may have seen in one of the previous previous video and I haven't presented you uh, to you yet all the components because I do have other components uh, chemical one and so on to clean the water especially with the discus and you do understand why when you see all the food for you guys one of uh, the issues that I see often in aquarium and I'm doing the, the failure myself I would say the mistake myself this is to overfeed your fish overfeed trophies I used to feed <clears throat> twice this one this quiz I used to fish four times what I'm uh, feeding uh, right now and at the end you you have overweighted fish and non-necessary healthier so back to the trophies trophies 
I use uh, so trophies. Um, they are algivore, herbivore, if you want, but algivore on the rocks <coughs> in the Tanganyika Lake. And uh, so all the food is uh, very highly um, in Corella, uh, concentrated, I would say, and here in Spirulina. So it's kind of algae. You have the flakes here that uh, I give them. You can see they are hungry as well and they know what it does mean. They will get it if I don't forget also. And this is a little, uh, this is what you can see here in fact, huh? because as well on holidays, I will have to turn back the automatic feeder, even if this is not so a good idea in theory for such little fish. Uh, this is some a little granulate, so it's fine. But if you give bigger one with the water in the stomach and digestive system, they will uh, start to stress a bit the fish, um, giving a bit more volume uh, with the water uh, inside. So it's not necessarily a good idea. And the importer slash breeder also uh, advised me to use more the flakes and uh, from your comments i have also some uh, good suggestion more something with uh, fiber like i think the flakes can uh, bring instead of something uh, like a, a paste in little bubble so that's all let's have a look sorry for the long video but i'll try to continue i show you one of the questions i have in the comments this is also how do i get it uh, as reminder or precision I'm situé, located in uh, Europa, Germany, Bavaria, if uh, to be precise. And uh, luckily, I can get access to a lot of material, fish, uh, breeder, importer, and also food. One of uh, the quite uh, known uh, company providing a lot of different food here in Germany, this is Tropical, so I can order directly on the website, or you can find it in a lot of pet shop. I would advise you to have a look because it's quite interesting. I just would like to share with you one section just dedicated or advice for discuss you can see all the different kind of food that uh, they uh, uh, developed and in terms of innovation i would say <coughs> this is not the first company doing this but it's uh, mimicking uh, and another company american one that i don't remember for terrari uh, terrarium and also aquarium uh, Isha, well, you can put in comment, I forgot it, but this is to, to do it yourself. So you buy, in fact, um, a little powder that you can uh, activate with some hot water and you get a, a paste that you can put uh, on the material and let it in the tank. In theory, it's uh, uh, well appreciated by the fish. So in terms of innovation, I like it, this effort. The other website I would like to share you, to show you, this is EBO or EBO Aquaristic, where I find it's well known uh, in Germany uh, among the breeder of Elkat fish. And as you can see, it's really dedicated to uh, this kind of uh, fish. So Elvels uh, in Germany. And uh, you do see that uh, you have different quantity, different uh, granulate, powder, um, plankton, tabs, for example. And after that, um, more or less carnivore oriented or veggie oriented so you have plenty of of choice and the last thing that i would like to show you this is the only uh, frozen food that uh, i use alors entra is not uh, interesting but this is more such kind of discus fit this is um, you can see here in fact the composition uh, ideally mushel so it's uh, more uh, sea uh, fruit, uh, seafood oriented in order to avoid any transfer of parasites, for example. No beef hurt to me because it, it, it doesn't sound very logic and natural. Uh, you can easily find out why. And after that, th this is important to have a little uh, mix of uh, spinach, uh, spinach, for example. And uh, in one little block, it's quite easy. The fish I used to do the, to give them, not with my hand, even if they start to, to eat with my hand. In fact, I simply use this and I put it in the tank. And why I tell you this? Because it's important 
for you, of course, to have a kind of contact with the fish, even if it's not a direct contact, but uh, they associate you with some food and quite tasty food for them. But it's important because you can um, pick and uh, give a kind of privilege access to one or the other fish and you monitor directly uh, the activity and the motivation and the behavior of uh, all your fishes. And you can also give a priority to one or the other one. They don't mind and they're just helping sometimes when they are a little shy or disturbed and so on. You can encourage them to eat because they need to eat this little guy. So, by the way, after that I kill everybody and during this one of the longest video, I'm sorry guys for that. I just would like to show you, to share with you, <coughs> if the smartphone is not dying. What I used to do also, this is to associate explicitly with a, a kind of stimuli, a sonar stimuli. And what I try to do, this is to also not touch and exchange the water between the two tongues, even if I don't put so much effort anymore with um, a liquid water, liquid water, <laughs> you, you get the point. I avoid to put one water in the other tank as much as possible. So here I used to put the, the flex directly in the water because I do have overflow in both tanks. So it's a bit stupid if the overflow is taking all uh, the food directly. You can see that it's uh, nearly instantaneously <laughs> all catch. <laughs> they are hungry all the time the same way and but it's nice to see after that this little guy i try to show them also and to to uh, give the same noise simulation okay and if it's not frozen food then this is this dry food it's cleaner for the tank i put it also in the tank and i move it in order for the flakes to spread everywhere Especially here, you see the outtake of the filter is pushing a lot of the flakes a bit everywhere. It's not to maximize the pollution of the tank, not at all, but this is just to maximize and ease the access for all the fish, for each fish, to one of the flakes. And as you can see, the wild that are here, here and here, are eating the flakes quite very well. So this is the last wild that I do have. I'm pretty happy that this one doesn't take as, enfin, uh, doesn't take at all. The issue that uh, the four that I lost did uh, over the time and uh, at the end this is the explanation why, why I lost the fish. So by the way, the flakes swimming under the driftwood is not a big deal. You have the Elkhead fish and you have the Corridora as you can see a bit everywhere. So we do have a cleaning crew I would say, a nice cleaning crew. I don't know if you know this guy, for example, if you can in the comment, tell me what kind of L number it is, just uh, to see if you are still following after 18 minutes that the guy is talking about food <laughs> on, on his fish. So I guess that's all for uh, today. I hope that um, it's a little bit informative and can answer uh, some of your questions that uh, otherwise Feel free to, to put in comment if you need more info. I'm sorry that I can't put any uh, direct link thanks to beautiful YouTube algorithm uh, throwing away any comment with a link, even if it's my comment on my <laughs> YouTube video. It's not working this way. So most of the time I advise you to Google some keywords for you to jump directly on the proper web page to find what I'm talking about. And that's all uh, important, the food of your fish. This is one of the pillars to get some healthy and beautiful fish. Uh, to not neglect at all and to not overfeed. This is what I could say. So that's all for today. Sorry for such a long video. Hope everything is going fine and you can soon as well enjoy holidays. Ciao guys.